Hello and welcome to a brand new <laughs> rocking special of Tech Toys with Suresh and me. No, we have not landed on the moon, though it feels like that, Suresh. Yes, we are on the Leopard 39. This is one of the finest catamaran sailboats that money can buy. We'll tell you a little bit more about the boat and about Aquasail, the people who got us on this boat. But before that, it's time to throw an anchor overboard. So anchors, <laughs> right, Ankit, get off the boat. <laughs> All right, before we get to any of those activities, let's show you what's coming up on the show this week on Tech Toys. It's been a plain sailing for smartphones so far. Now watch the super phones rock their boat and throw them overboard. Your boyfriend making waves for you? Shruti shows you how the iPad 2 can help you take the wind out of his sails. And finally, welcome aboard the Leopard 39 Catamaran. Learn the ropes and experience the ultimate joy of sailing in the high seas. Right, so every week on Tech Toys, here's how the equation works. I teach Suresh a couple of things about gadgets and technology and he tries to teach me a thing or two about living the good life. And this week, he's trying to teach me a thing or two about sailing and leisure sailing. So Ankit, for a change, we find ourselves both in the same boat. Oh, literally. We're com completely at literally, sea. Literally, that's a good part. I'm, I'm at sea, just as you are. All right. Luckily for us, we have Shaquille Kudroli here with us. All right. So Shaquille was a champion sailor in his time and now is the CEO of Aquasail, which is a private boat. Boating company. Wow. So, Shakil, what does Aquasail do? Do you sell boats like this? Do you teach people how to sail boats like this? Do you throw people like him off the boat? <laughs> what do you do exactly at Aquasail? We do all of that. All of that. <laughs> so, we're basically into leisure boating. Okay. Trying to get as many people on the water. So, we do, we have an academy, we teach sailing, we have a club where people go and hang out as a family. Okay. We do long distance cruising. Okay. Uh, the holiday lifestyle and uh, Timeshare, wow. fraction ownership. So Shakil, what kind of boat are we on right now? What kind of a boat is this? Well, this is an ocean-going yacht mm -hmm. which, can, which can spend uh, in extended hours over 30 days out, out to sea. 30 days? 30 days? So, so, so if you start off from the city of Mumbai, where can you reach in 30 days? Dubai? Uh, easy. Okay. Uh, Easily? Much, much, much earlier than that. Okay. Uh, yeah. And this boat is a leisure boat. It's a holiday lifestyle boat. Okay. It's meant for families to just hang out for so parties. So how many people? How many people does this accommodate? Well, on a day sailing, you can have up to 16 people. Okay. But uh, if you're going overnight, long distance sailing, you can get three families on board. So about 10 people oh. on board. Yeah. So okay. Captain Jack Sparrow, are you listening? And if you're not, please, you can release your inner Jack Sparrow. Absolutely. Right? So, Shakil, is a, is a cell phone based GPS good enough to navigate a boat like this? Can you actually find your way with a cell phone based GPS? Yes, you can. You, you can. can? Yes. There's very advanced gadgets on this board, with, on this boat, far more advanced than a cell phone. We'll tell you that in a little while, but before that, Ankit, what do we have on the show? So, I've put two of the latest cell phones through its paces, Suresh. It's the Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc okay. versus a brand new device called HTC Incredible S. It is a battle of not just the best smartphone running on Android these days, it is the battle of the best super smartphone. 2011 will be remembered as the year that saw the dawn of super phones. Dude, yet another marketing jargon. Don't we have enough of them already? Okay, dude, this is just not a marketing jargon or a gimmick. I'm talking about devices like the Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc. It's super phone-ness personified. And the HTC Incredible S, which is so incredible that it is the official handset of the Incredibles. <laughs> okay, stop kidding, seriously. These phones have earned the Superphone moniker because of the superlative hardware Absolutely. and software. One thing. look at the HTC Incredible S and you can tell why this is the best Superphone ever. Yeah, yeah, apart from Apple, of course. But before you start bragging about the incredibility about the HTC Incredible S, let's show our viewers the kind of software and hardware packed into both these super phones and then we'll see which is the better super phone. Sony Ericsson has hit the bullseye with the Xperia Arc's design. A 4.2-inch touchscreen that is undoubtedly one of the best screens we have seen on a mobile device makes a stellar first impression. Thanks to the Bravia engine, it is inexplicably bright and vivid. You'll be dumbfounded by its slimness and the metallic plastic finish on the back makes it absolutely irresistible. But hey, this is no Megan Fox. It looks like a million bucks and packs in a kryptonite performance. A 1 GHz processor coupled with Android's latest version, Gingerbread, gives you one of the most refined smartphone experience in the history of smartphones. The 8 megapixel camera is by far the best we have come across and shoots vivid still images and high def videos effortlessly. Colors, detailing and sharpness has to be seen to be believed. 
You also have the option of playing back these HD videos on your HD TV with the help of the HDMI out port. All these features and the world, a battery that lasts over a day and a price tag of 28,000. Sony Ericsson has finally found its mojo and how. HTC's Incredible S has everything that discerning smartphone users have come to expect of HTC's Android Army. A good 4-inch screen, a potent 1 GHz processor, 512 MB of RAM, a dedicated graphics card and Android 2.2. While it has other superb features such as crazy effects in the camera mode that turn your friends into disfigured aliens and unidentified flying objects, the real clincher in any HTC Android phone, like the Incredible S, is its user interface. We have said this once and we will repeat it a million times. HTC's custom user interface called Sense is a treat for every sense. It is intuitive, it's sexy, it's customizable and definitely puts the smart in this super phone. 28,000 for this taste of superhumanness. Alright dude, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you can go on and on about your Sense UI, let me tell you that in the battle of the best Android super phone, Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc just wins hands down. No, 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 no. Absolutely no way. You know, someday people are going to find out that what lies beneath this beautiful looking Android handset of yours is Dixie Dude, Underwear. Dixie Underwear? Dude, it's called Android 2.3 Gingerbread. Heard of that? It's 2011 and you guys are still packing in Froyo in your phones. You know, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, it doesn't really matter. It's just another decimal point. Seriously, who cares? I don't know, I can't believe what you're saying, but seriously, okay, 8 megapixel camera, both of these have 8 megapixel cameras, you've even packed in a dual LED flash, but what good is high definition video and 8 megapixel pictures if you don't have HDMI out? The ARC packs an HDMI out and even a mini HDMI cable. If you're like me, which means if you like living with your lens 24-7, then the world's best camera phone at 8 megapixel is the Sony Ericsson Xperia R. There's no doubt about it. Okay, absolutely. But if you're someone like me who goes for the overall package and is not smitten by one or two features, then the overall best package of a super phone okay, is the I HTC Incredible S. Right, the Sony Xperia Arc versus the HTC Incredible as Ankit, one of the things that I find incredible is that every week we get to do something as fancy as standing on a <laughs> Twin Hull Leopard 39. Twin Hull Leopard 39? Yes. What does that even mean in normal English, Suresh? It's got two hulls and it's called a Leopard 30 and it's 39 I only long. know one hull. In Marathi, it's called Hull Cut. Right, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> so, Shakil, I have a question for you. Now, many of us see uh, boats, people like Vijay Malle owning fancy yachts and parties on it. And people think that cruise boats are the only kinds of boats that there are. Right. Now, this is a sailboat. It's actually powered by the wind, am I right? Yes. What we're going to see right now is the unfurling of the sails. And we're actually going to take this boat out to sea with power of wind. Do enough people in India understand the idea of sailing? Well, yeah, most people, when you ask them sailing, they are, they are associated with power boats. Okay. But sailing is really using the wind force okay. to move the boat. Okay. And in fact, this boat can go to Dubai or Cape Town only with the wind. Wow. Uh, using no fuel whatsoever. With, with, uh, yeah, the fuel is used, the engines are only used to go out of the harbor okay. and come into the harbor. Okay. The rest of the time, the uh, means of... Uh, Propulsion is is this event. not only is it a great way to spend your time. It's also pretty eco-friendly because pretty you're using wind, you're using Absolutely. wind power. Oh okay. yes, it's the most. It's an eco-friendly sport. Sailing as a sport. That's fantastic. All right, we'll tell you a little bit more about being at sea, and we'll throw Ankit overboard. All that's <laughs> after this break. Keep watching Tech Toys. Welcome back, you're watching Tech Toys. The depth of the seabed is 18.6 feet. The wind is blowing at a cool comfortable 2.9 knots and uh, we are at 210 degrees right now. That's pretty impressive, Ankit. <laughs> For having spent all of 30 minutes on this boat, you're acting like an expert. We have the actual expert here. Of course, Shakil. yeah, I'm just a faker. Shakil, the Leopard 39. Shakil, of course, is the CEO of Aqua Sail. For those of you joining in our show right now, expert sailor can teach you how to get your sea legs. Right. Shakil, this yacht, the Leopard 39, 
is a pretty technologically advanced yacht, isn't it? It isn't a basic Jack Sparrow kind of pirate ship. <laughs> it's got every conceivable piece of technology built into it. Tell us a little bit about what we're looking at here. I know, it's impressive. It looks very fancy. It looks like a video game, but what is it? <laughs> it's, it's a short-handed boat. So the basically at the helm station, you got all the equipment required for one okay. person to be able to manage this boat, even though it's 40 foot in length okay. and a pretty heavy eight tonner. Wow. Uh, well, it's got it's got the chart plotter and the radar, so you can plot your course and uh, you know decide your uh, passage plan right here from the helm station okay uh, it's got the autopilot which is once you chart uh, you know get your course plotted you can decide your direction and then you know just press the autopilot button and, then and the boat down, will go, go down, down, go down. Oh, yeah you can leave the boat and there may be somebody just keeping a lookout and you can chill out on the boat with wow. your family and friends there wow okay. that's awesome this of course is the steering wheel. Does yeah, it look like a regular steering wheel? Yeah, it's got hydraulics, so it's very easy. It's very maneuverable. Even okay. though it's a heavy boat, uh, it acts like a small dinghy. Okay. So okay. Within two seconds, you can turn the boat uh, in over 90 degrees. Awesome. And this steering wheel, of course, controls the rudder in the back. This is how you change direction. Yes, it's it's got a rudder which is below the water. Okay. It's connected to to the steering. What are, what are these shiny chrome? Uh... Well, these are the winches, which are basically all the all the sails. There are three okay. sails on this boat. The main sail, as you can see on top, on the mast, and then there's Genoa and the Jenica. So all the boat sails are controlled. Their ropes are led aft here, okay. and it can be controlled by using the winch because. Okay. You need the you know the uh, effort to be able to pull it. Okay. So it's got an electric winch and a manual winch. So you can actually put the rope around the electric winch Switch and just on. press the button, and you will find the sails going. So you up. don't have to like physically keep pulling the sails. Yeah, you can decide. You can use a manual to do that to some extent. They are feeling like a real yeah. man. You can do it like that. <laughs> yeah, right. And after about three or four drinks, you can use the. <laughs> right. So Shakil, jokes apart, it looks like a lot of fun. But captaining a boat is serious business, right? You obviously can't drink and sail. You've got to be careful. What are the things that one should watch out for if you're a sailor? I think, uh, you know, the, with the technology today, taking a boat from A to B anywhere in the world is pretty yeah. easy. Okay. Really? I think the safety and seamanship is the key element to be able to handle okay. a boat. So, what are the elements of good seamanship? Well, you, you need to be you need to be conservative. Okay. It's an attitude which is also is very important. Of course, the skills you okay. need to understand man overboard. You need to understand how to shorten your sails. Okay. You you need to you know take all the precautions when you're going on deck, like okay. your harnesses. Right. So those are factors which you need to keep in mind. Of course, you need need to learn how to sail. But sailing as a skill can be learned at any age, and okay. it doesn't take too much time to learn the skills. Yeah. Okay. How long does it take to learn to be a good sailor? Well, I think you need about 20 hours of uh, learning, but okay. a little bit of more long-term learning, so you can spend in a couple of months uh, okay. doing about eight to ten sessions, is okay. where you can learn all the skills. Wow. Right. Shakil, we are of course on the top deck. Is this called the top deck? This, this is yeah. This is the main deck. Main deck. Yeah. It's the helm station actually, where you are sitting right now. Is the helm station. But this boat is pretty much like a floating apartment, isn't it? Tell us about what we have downstairs there. Well, yes, you can live for extended uh, days, about 30 days. Okay. It has provisioning for being able to uh, spend long hours on the water. It's okay. it's got three bedrooms. Okay. There's an owner cabin on the starboard side. There are two uh, cabins on the port side with uh, attached toilet, showers. Uh, okay. All that you need to live. Can okay. you like uh, make food? Oh food? yes, it's it's got a full fresh kitchen. It's okay. got a burner. It's got freezer. Wow. Uh, it's got refrigerator. Uh, so name it. In yeah. short, this is more fancy than the apartment that I actually live in on land. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a five star. Five star. It's holiday. a five star. Also, Shakil, it's safe for kids to be on this, to take kids on this boat, to take pets on this boat. Safe to do all that? Yes, yes. This boat is designed for that. It's okay. a catamaran. It's got a floating, much more stable platform. Right. Uh, it's meant for families to go out on hol long holidays. Okay. A lot of these boats are used all over the world. Leopard is a known brand for holidaying on boats. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, and and talking of, of, of speed and, and you said this is a very agile boat, it's very nimble, it can be turned around. What are the kind of speeds I can hope to touch on a boat like this? Well, you can, in a wind speed of about 18 knots, you can easily send uh, touch about 10 to 11 knots, okay. which wow. is which is pretty good for any any yacht, even a monohull, which okay. are supposedly faster than cats, but the technology has made cats match up even on the upwind legs, you know, which is going right. against the wind. That's a lot of jargon coming away. So, <laughs> cat stands for catamaran, catamaran. monohull stands for one hull. This has two hulls, and you keep telling us about port and starboard and aft and stern. We have no idea what that means. We're just nodding along. When you face forward, the port is the left side of the boat, and starboard is the right side of the that's boat. That's the port, and that's, that's starboard. starboard. All okay. right.
and after imagine is the front after of the boat. After the back side. Oh, excellent. After the back <laughs> of the boat. And is that forward. 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 Right. That's a quick primer on boat technology for you. Take a quick break on Tech Toys. We'll see you on the other side. We're chatting with Shakil Kudroli, CEO of Aquasail, and we're all at sea. Still sailing strong. <laughs> Welcome back. This is the most fun that I've had on any tech toy show, Suresh. And not I think, just on land, even at yeah, sea. Yeah, I, I think we should completely, you know, give uh, up our lifestyle on land. Decentralize from just Mumbai. live on this boat forever. Just live from on now this boat. It's brilliant. I agree completely. I agree. All right. So you want to get people up to speed where we are and what right. we're doing? So we're off the coast of the city of Mumbai. You can see behind us the Mumbai city skyline. The wind is about a healthy 10, 15 knots. Shakil, what are we doing it's right about now? About eight, 8 to 10, right? 8 now. to 10, nice. which I can already tell. Oh, very well. That's done. how much of an expert I'm becoming. Awesome. At this. <laughs> so, Shakil, if I had to buy a boat like this, uh, where in India could I park it? Where are some of the hot spots in India for sale? Firstly, how much does this cost? I mean, something like this. Well, it's uh, it's over two and a half crores. Okay. Like a luxury car. Absolutely. As much as a luxury car. Where does one park it? Where does one sail it? What are the good hot spots to park and sail the boats? Well, if you're right here, the western coastline is okay. by far a yeah. great cruising, uh, cruising ground. Okay. I mean, you have warm weather. Uh, you have always stable wind conditions. Okay. The wind conditions are normally between 6 to 15 knots. Okay. Which uh, I mean, that's it's a dream for, for sailors. That's good for sailing. And there's yeah. great seafood. And there's great and there's seafood. Great seafood. Now, Ankit, one of the nicest things about cruising on a boat is the feeling of gliding on thin air. Absolutely. And it's almost like you're flying in mid-air. And apparently that's a sensation many people reported when they touched the iPad too. Oh, that, really? That the interface is souped up, it's, it's, it's spruced up and the processor is faster. Absolutely. And, and we, so, so what we did, is we asked Shruti to test. We asked her to find out if it's better to get an iPad 2 or a boyfriend. Alright, so the million dollar question that every girl faces, should she get a brand new boyfriend or a brand new iPad 2? Yes, you can compare both of them. Here's the answer. The one thing we do on Tech Toys week on week is tell you how to make your life simpler, happier and more meaningful. Now, while some people might say being addicted to your gadgets ruins relationships, what they don't realize is that sometimes it's just good for you. Now, the one question women ask us week on week on the show is if they should buy the brand new Apple iPad 2 or date someone. Tough choice, ladies, but after weeks of scientific research and testing, we have the answer only for you and here goes. Boyfriends generally go from this to this. The beer belly, the balding, what compromise ladies when with Apple there's always a better version around the corner. These guys only get yummier with age. When you're walking around town with a boyfriend who looks like this, this or this, chances are men who look like this are not going to look your way. So what do you do? Ladies, what you need is an iPad too iPad 2 is sleek, stylish and exudes 1 GHz dual-core Apple A5 processor power. And when you whip this one out of your bag, no matter where you are, the evening is all yours. With a display resolution of 1024 by 768, an accelerometer, a gyroscope, an e-compass and so many wonderful applications, touch away without the fear of it touching you back. See what I mean? No corny lines, no advances. Though the iPad 2's glass is slimmer than that of the iPad, tests reveal that the iPad 2 is flexible and less likely to crack under heavy weights. The exact opposite of men. While we all know men can't handle pressure, sticky situations and a cold. Once you run your finger all over and you realize the flexibility, you realize it's what everyone wants. With the iPad though, unlike your man, you never have to worry about infidelity. With looks this good, everyone is going to want to touch and hold it. And of course, you can sit back, worry free and enjoy your drink. If pretty women and parties equals aspirin and nightmare for you with your boyfriend, with the iPad you'll never have to worry. So it comes with the front, back-facing camera and 720-pixel HD video recording capability, it's going to have its eyes only for you. What does having a boyfriend mean? Nothing really. Celine Dion was probably the last one to harp on the fact that she needed one. The iPad though has lacks of applications on them. 
In fact, if you look hard enough, you might also find a how to get rid of your boyfriend app. After all, there is one on how to give yourself a virtual box of chocolates. If you've always felt your boyfriend had the worst dressing sense with the iPad, guess what? You get to decide. The iPad has a maximum number of jackets, sleeves and cases in all colors and fabrics. See what I mean? Now isn't that fun? The iPad 2 comes with what's called a smart cover. Close it and the iPad goes to sleep. Open it and it's up again. Smart and bright. Too much for a man to remember. The iPad 2 costs $499 and a boyfriend costs a lifetime supply of aspirin. We say choose wisely. The Apple iPad 2 versus a boyfriend. Well, I say getting the Apple iPad 2 makes so much more sense. It's smarter, looks good, gets you all the attention and the best part, it won't stray. It's a relationship made in heaven. What more can I say? Right, so with that, it's time to actually set sail and not see you for the rest of so our lives. So, if life. you can see Asgore back there, say hello to him. Uh, Asgore is from Turkey. He's taking us to Turkey Absolutely. on this sailboat. Absolutely. Are you ready to go to Turkey? I have. Yeah, Turkey? I've never been ready. Right. Shakil, fantastic boat, fantastic experience. My pleasure. We've got our three legs. Thank you, Asgore. Thank you for showing us around. I'm a convert. I'm a convert completely. Right. So we're giving up our houses on land. We're going to be living on sea. All future episodes of Tech Toys will come to you from this boat. <laughs> if you'd like what you see, what you need to do is tweet us, Facebook us. Email us, search for us on YouTube. Also, if you like what you see in terms of the board, what you need to do is go to aquasailindia.com and first up, learn the basic skills of sailing and then you can invest in a funky catamaran like this. All right. Happy sailing. Is there like a sailing war cry or something? Is there a sailing cry? <laughs> well. Jack Sparrow, here I come. <laughs>